channels have what's called insert points where you can insert like a compressor or a gate, uh, something you, you need to help you make the sound uh, tighter or better. And after you've done it for a while, you just learn different instruments that need different uh, things on them. You know, you hit, a, you hit a drum and it rings a lot, you might want to put what's called a gate on it to make it uh, stop ringing so much. In, in a nutshell, that's what it does. All the newer boards have these things built right in them, the digital consoles. But this, this old guy and this old guy still use this stuff. One of the slowest learning process for me was to learn how to delegate. That's gotta be a rosemary demi class for the lamb. Was a lamb demi class? And the minute you accept to delegate, you accept to give up some control. And when you give up control, you can give up quality. And so that's the biggest challenge is to learn how to hire the right people okay. that you can delegate to. Could be some rabbits. Oh, they look nice. Bill is fully culinary trained. Um, and he's my kitchen manager. And as a kitchen manager, he placed the orders and he received the deliveries. Thanks, sir. Herbs de Provence, one. Cinnamon sticks, one. Peppercorns, I've got one. I'm sure you've seen tighter than that. When we get a new delivery, we don't put it in the front of the whole delivery. You need to take the whole delivery, put it in the front so it's used first. I need some cabbage, about four. I don't care what it is. You know, butter is not really perishable as long as you keep it cold, but it's better when you use it fresh. It's, it's a busy restaurant, so we can't afford to run out of everything or anything, so everything has to be here all the time. You need a, a good system. Uh, Take inventory every time you order. Yeah, then you're okay. If you know exactly what you use, you know exactly what to order. I think most people generally uh, start with the kick drum. Sean, are we about ready? That's a good starting point. Oh, wow. Now you can hear, I can hear without having the microphone on, this drum is kind of boomy. Uh, so I'm glad I put a gate on it. That'll, uh, something you can adjust to stop it from sounding so boomy, you know, hopefully, theoretically. What you're doing is you're checking each channel as you go along, kick, snare, hat, rack, floor, overhead, overhead, bass, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Rack Tom. And all I'm doing is, um, you know, give it a listen. And floor, just play around. Make sure that it's it's not overloading the channel. Uh, gain wise, gain is electric, the amount of electricity that goes into the channel. And uh, you just manipulate it until you're happy with the sound. All right, can I hear the snare again, please? A lot of younger guys will just you know, EQ and EQ and EQ a channel and mess with stuff and mess with stuff for hours, you know. And this is an empty room. Uh, bass. And, and over a period of time, I think you realize that you need to wait, you know, you learn the patience of, of uh, when the room fills up, it's gonna be different. The old saying is, you know, there's, there's gonna be a thousand, thousand fat sacks in here, you know, are gonna suck it all up. You know, and that's true. Something might not sound all that great right now when the room's empty. And, but I, I just think over a period of years, I've, I've learned that, nah, that's gonna be okay. I, I know how it's gonna sound when, you know, five, six, seven hundred people come in. This car has Really difficult lifting points compared to most. My thought process has changed in that Japanese, domestic, and European vehicles all have certain, there's certain aspects to them.
I'll know exactly what tools I need depending on where the car is manufactured. So that allows me to kind of save time. Over the years, I've bought tools as I needed them. When I worked at the other shop, if I ever had to borrow a tool from somebody else in the shop, that tool would go on my list of tools to buy. I don't know when the last the first starter I ever changed was. It's such a everyday thing. I don't know. Again, with the Japanese cars, it's like all the bolt heads are the same on all Japanese cars. They're 12 and 14 versus European cars are 13, 15, so. <clears throat> You can't buy cheap tools because they're gonna break and you know a saying is the cheapest tool you bought will be the most expensive tool you ever buy because it's gonna break over and over and over again. Yeah,